When you're this tall and you're pulling sideways on it, it makes you think a little bit about... <laughs> Cool. This here got all wallered out. This bearing started to go. The way Vermeer has these set up is there's a spot for a grease cirque right here, but they seal the bearings and say you don't need that. But these bearings went out, which put a kind of a strain on things. And then this hole. This bolt hole is like an axle. It wallered out and changed, turned this into an egg shape and was horrible. Anyway, Grandpa Hunnicky, Mike Hunnicky, 80 year old Mike Hunnicky helped me fix that. It's good to have skills around. We got the Ranchero up on blocks and he's been helping me with that, helping my boy Hez do things. He's he's kind of better at doing things than explaining things. Thanks for the help, Mr. Hunnicky. You're welcome. I got a feeling Vermeer guys the world over are probably missing this grease circ right here. Because it gets so packed up with mud. They say it takes all kinds and I think it's true. My dad is has what I would call like real guy skills, you know, welding and mechanics and stuff like that. I often say when I need help with something like that, I need a real guy. I can do all manner of things with a tree. You know, I can do video editing and stuff, but it's a different skill set than what he's got. So he's quite important. All y'all are quite important. Let's see if this is tinned. pretty handy so you got suspender clip here tends the line as you spur up otherwise you gotta keep grabbing it and lifting it up over the roof YouTube over the house long ways too so it's really important that you don't sag into the house you got to have decent tension on the line without pulling on your tree too hard from the side which is a concern especially if it's dead which this one isn't but it does lean and it's big and it's headed toward the house and the power lines so you wouldn't want to pull it over trying to get tension to get your pieces to not sag. These little ones won't be so bad. Maybe you guys can see it better like this. All right, I'm ready to cut. to go way out and around the backyard like I don't know hundreds and hundreds of feet it would have been and now it's right in front of the chipper so it's kind of cool it's 
got some setup time, but it's not it's not terrible. Okay, YouTube, you see that? We're gonna do a big one and we need a lowering rope guy too. This one's so heavy that I'm afraid we won't have clearance and so this is, is a control line. We've got the control line and the speed line to direct the piece out over the house, but not on a, um, not on like a one-way hope it makes it type trip, but on a, if it ain't going to make it, the other line will hold it up from crashing the house. Also, YouTube, I'm, I'm going to bend it down slow so that it doesn't crash and knock all a bunch of dead little stuff on the house. called a controlled speed line or maybe a slow line let it down Jeff Next one, I think we should do that way too. What do you think, Damien? Would it have cleared? Uh, All right, well, we'll do the next one the same way just to be safe. As soon as I get that rope back, I'll hook it up. Might do a couple little ones first. So this one is bigger. I don't know if it would clear if we just slammed it in there and so we're gonna control it. This tree just goes up and up and up, Damien. It's like the beam stop.
peeling them down slow like that stops the, the little dead things from crashing into the stem and falling on the root. You can't peel everything though, not all wood's the same. So maybe it would have cleared, eh? Okay, we'll try the next one without the control then and slam it in there. Okay, so YouTube, when you have a big heavy thing, it's important that your anchor is kind of behind, you know, the, because if your anchor was out here like where this one is, well, when this, when this piece came on, the, lo the whole load would shift over here and you would introduce a bunch of slack into the line. So if you have a big heavy one, it's better if you're anchoring behind it like this. <laughs> Because this time we're going to try a pretty big piece with no control line. Well that worked. It pulls on the tree a scary amount in order to get it to get the sag out, but it's not like I died. it it just cleared that was awesome all right you ready That's all you get or I'll lose my anchor. Yeah. I'm gonna set up one, two, three, four, five more in a second. Good to go?
That was pretty smooth. Tugs on the tree a little bit when you get that many at once. All pulling sideways down to the chipper. But it feels secure enough in the gut. All right, you got one, two, three, four. You guys could probably just do it by hand. Yes. Let's test it. Maybe, but if it's enough clearance, you know. That's one of mine. Clearance, clearance. You remember that, huh? Wow. I know. Oh. Almost lost my rights to it. Like a vanity plate. All right, tighten it up. You're going to get a whole bunch. You're good for a few, I don't know how many. <laughs> <laughs> Nope, I still got, looks like one more to hook up. Okay, they're all hooked up. 
Now I'm going to get the top ready. You guys on? You ready? Ready? Damien? Cool. Denuded. Fine. I kind of sent it that way so that it would load the lines more gradually. Yeah, rather than fall it right on the line. Okay, you got another one on? Okay, check this chunking spot for me real quick, would you? It's super tall, but I'll chunk until until it's a bad idea for my lower back, and then, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. <laughs> me too, but it's only been two days. Ooh, bounced pretty good. Didn't go toward the house, but it had a lot of bounce. Okay. I brought the 18 inch bar on my 201 YouTube because I can chunk longer without getting a bigger saw. Headache. 
Well, Damien, you want to tag? You're it. Okay. Yeah, I got like a like splash with like pitch. Damien just got splashed with a bunch of tree sap. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's like walking around with the blood of your enemies on you. <laughs> yeah. Howdy. <laughs> Am I gonna be on YouTube? I gotta get you on YouTube if you're blowing the roof. <laughs> this thing's a little finicky though, cause it's. Yeah, I got one. I wish it was uh, gas powered. Yeah. You guys did a good job. I'm surprised you guys were able to do it, to be honest. Why? Just because the angle and the limited oh, space yeah. you guys had. And then Damien showed me how you guys had that zip line that shot him out in the front yard. Yeah. We practice a lot. kit keep even a basic speed line kit 10 slings or whatever keep that in your kit if you don't have that in your kit then please go to monkeybeaver.com help us out and help yourself out get a little bit of that kit because when you need it it is good monkeybeaver.com <laughs>